Kasama, friendship, camaraderie, and collaboration. From Bean Project in the Philippines to a successful business here in Vancouver, Canada, let's meet Vince Garcia of Kasama Chocolate. So I'm a uh, second genera generation Filipino. Uh, my parents are from uh, Ilocosur and uh, Tuao in Cagayan, northern Luzon, uh, in the provinces. Uh, they immigrated to Canada in the 1970s. And so I grew up in a very, um, you know, Tagalog speaking, uh, Ilocano speaking um, household. My parents arrived here, and for my own personal uh, migrant story, um, you could say it's almost a bit of a, a reverse story. Born and raised in Canada. I recently got my Philippine citizenship uh, a few years ago and I'm slowly making my way back to the Philippines through Kasama Chocolate. Being born into a Filipino household in Canada, Vince found himself deeply drawn to his cultural identity through his Bean to Bar journey. So Kasama Chocolate uh, was a kind of a hobby uh, project started by myself and three other friends, um, Stefan, Oliver and Dominic. Uh, in 2014, um, I discovered that uh, we had a little bit of property left over in, in Cagayan, uh, through my dad's side. My dad sent me a picture now that's become very famous. Um, he sent a picture back on our property of himself holding a few. Uh, at the time, I thought they were actually mangoes, but they were cacao pods. I told them the story and they said, oh, could your dad bring back some cacao and we could, as a joke, can we try making chocolate out of it? And I said, sure, why not? And my dad came back with a couple of Ziploc bags of cacao beans from again and we um, just started making chocolate as a hobby on the weekends it was kind of like a joke uh, we didn't know how to make chocolate we just kind of looked online and discovered that but at the same time that same year we discovered that there was a, there was a craft chocolate uh, movement happening throughout the world cacao grows in countries uh, six, uh, 15 degrees north and south of the equator uh, cacao came to the Philippines during the uh, galleon uh, trade route uh, between Spain, uh, Philippines and Mexico uh, in the 1600s. So it's been in the Philippines for quite some time. And so usually what it, they'll do is they'll have two harvests uh, during the rainy season and the dry season in the Philippines. Uh, so it's every six months. The cacao pods go from the size of about a jalapeno pepper to the size of almost a small football. And uh, during the harvest what they'll do is they'll crack, crack open those pods and take out the beans and ferment those beans for about five days. After they ferment it, which is a very important process in terms of creating flavor development for fine cacao, they'll dry it for about two weeks, and then they'll send those beans out to makers around the world, so people like us. I go to the Philippines twice a year, visit different plantations throughout the archipelago. So what we'll do is we'll roast the cacao beans, similar to coffee, we use a coffee roaster, and we'll remove the shell, and we'll grind them for about three days, and you get a nice, smooth uh, chocolate. With five years of chocolate making, no culinary background, blind testing and free samples, Vince and his co-founders refined their products and opened a chocolate business. It was only a matter of time that Kasama Chocolate would receive several international awards. Last year was um, a big turning point for us in terms of uh, getting peer recognition in the industry. Uh, the Chocolate Awards is a very prestigious um, international competition um, in various um, kind of categories. Uh, so there's a category for craft chocolate and bean-to-bar chocolate. Uh, so we submitted uh, most of our lineup. We have close to 18 uh, bars right now. We got a uh, top three medals for our Philippine durian bar. We got recognition also for our Davao 70% bar. Our goat's milk bar won a gold as well. And our cafe espresso, which uses Philippine coffee beans and Philippine cacao. So um, a lot of our flavored bars, we use um, our Philippine beans as a base. We also do like a, a few of our single origin bars are from different parts of the Philippines. Vince's Kasama chocolate journey brought him back to his roots and taught him what Kasama truly means, in every sense of the word. Having grown up here and not in the Philippines, there's a lot of the cultural nuances that I was not aware of, that I've become aware of now with my uh, trips back. I think one of the funny things is there's a lot of Filipinos, especially in the province, they tend to ask me, like, why am I here? But what I like the most about it is when I go back, especially to uh, Cagayan, or Region 2, 
is when Filipinos back home know that you're from that region, they know that your roots are from there, so you're automatically almost like family. I've gone and visited plantations and stayed with families who I have not known previously, and they took me in as their own, like a nephew. As a second-generation Filipino, this young entrepreneur definitely exudes with national pride. Being a second-generation Filipino, I think it's really, it's a nice kind of, um, I definitely feel a lot of pride, I think, in the Philippines, that we're not really known for a lot of things internationally in terms of foods that are well-received and well-loved. And I feel that there's a lot of that here, and just to be visible in the community as someone who is able to do something, I hope that inspires other Filipinos, because there's so many Filipinos and Filipinas that have great ideas. I think now that I've kind of starting to come full circle and understand what it means to be Filipino by seeing where your parents are from and seeing how there's a, an old world still left over. Um, it's, oh, no, I'm very proud and I think that for most second generation Filipinos too who are looking for that connection, I highly recommend to spend time and spend time with where, where, where your families, your, your lolos and lolas are from. It's there and it's very tangible and um, I, I, no, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Join us next time here on Journey, Stories of Filipinos in Canada.